Do you ever wonder if your name means something special, if somebody else already wrote an incredible story, or if it's your story to write? Well, this little girl named Alma really was wondering about her name as well in the book that we're going to talk about today. So we're going to be talking about the book Alma and how she got her name. Sorry for the glare. Um, it is by Juana Martinez Neal. Um, it was published in 2008. It is a fiction children's book, and it won the Caldecott Medal, which is really, really impressive. That means that this was the most distinguished American picture children's book, which is really such a big deal. Um... This book has two characters. These two characters are her, um, this little girl named Alma and then her father right back here. Um, and so the problem in this book is that Alma has a longer name than most of the kids in her class. She's starting to notice this, um, wondering what this means for her identity. She's very, very curious about it. Um, so that was the, kind of the problem, the conflict, and her dad's incredible solution is to sit her down and tell her the name, the story of her name, which is incredible. Um, so the setting of this book is their living room. They're kind of sitting down just chatting with each other. But as you can see, there are going to be some flashbacks in this book, which are really cool. I don't want to say more and give it away, but the flashbacks are pretty amazing. Um, so what is her name, you might be wondering, because Alma doesn't seem super long. Well, here's her name right here, and her name is Alma Sofia Esbranze Jose Piora Candela. So that's a really beautiful name. Um... But once again, she's really unsure of why it's so long, how this um, makes sense with her identity. She can't really figure it out. So as you could guess, the themes in this book are family connection, um, confidence, and self-identity. Because um, we're wondering at the end of the book, maybe she'll have more confidence in herself, in her self-identity, in her name after figuring out what her name story is, which is awesome. So a really cool thing to do with your students um, is to make a name poster as well. So I made a little example of my name poster right here. You're going to make sure to make your students' pronouns correct. Um, for mine, it's how she got her name, but it could be different for another student. But basically, you're going to put their names down. Um, you're going to have little arrows for what people, what their loved ones call them. Um, and then if they have a name story, you can make it in parentheses. And then it could be a cool writing activity as well. I think that this would be great at the beginning of the year when everybody is kind of getting to know each other, getting to know how they're going to fit in this classroom. Um, I think it's a great way to make everybody feel welcome and loved and included in this classroom. So how did you get your name? Does it have a story or is it your story to write? Um, check out the link below for my um graduate student blog and um, it has a bunch of amazing culturally diverse and authentic um, children's books that you should really check out and as well I also have a link in the resources that you should check out.